Happy New Year everyone, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Welcome back to my channel World of VFX. Today we'll talk about how you can create this type of scenes inside of Unreal Engine 5.5.1. So without further delay, let's get started. Alright, so first of all you need to reset the entire scene. So go to file and new level and basic and create. So you have a default scene here. So we have this, first of all go to content, right click and new folder so that we can do it in a separate way. So just name it to tutorial and open it. So now we have need a Niagara simulation setups and by 5.5.1 you have already uh, done this before like a preset. So right click and Niagara system and you can type hanging particles. So just name it hanging particles, simply select and press create. And after that, you need to create two materials. So I'll create later after creating this particles. So just double click over here. So this is the very basic uh, and uh, Niagara simulations. All right. So we don't need few things. Just delete this, 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 and this. So we need only these three. Now simply add a mesh renderer because I want to render the meshes. And then you need to check the mesh style like what type of mesh you want so we have so many primitives if you wish you can use anything but uh, as of now let's go to this cube so now you can see the cubes are here all right cool so now the next step is all about very few simple settings we need to change it so just simply select the main particle box simply change the calculation bounds mode to fixed so that's fixed on this own space. And after that, go down. You can find this option called mesh attribute. Just change it to uniform. So now it's changing in uniformly. And then click here and you can find the option called float curves. Simply select this, make it to let's say one point, uh, let's say one, so that the particles are getting uh, like smaller to bigger in a random way. Then change the spawn rate to somewhere around 600 or it's later so basically it's increasing the particle count so it's all up to you how you can increase or decrease it then change this sprite attributes from uh, random uniform to let's say uniform only now let's add something here so just simply add a drag effect and just increase the drag ratio to somewhere around 500 or let's say 100 okay simply turn off this then let's add point attributes forces and after that the strength should be let's say around 7000 okay and then add a gravitational force so just add a gravitational force just to leave it like this only and then let's add vortex v o r and then vortex force here the main settings will be and change it to let's say 500 and just let's say 100 now just select the wind force and change it to none because otherwise it was like a turbulence noise and uh, let's change the wind speed to like say 25 and 25 and then 0.5 so now if you notice we can see some kind of effects over here which looks pretty nice so let's make it to 10 and this is nice all right now go to this uh, point attraction force and let's change it to let's say 500 by uh, let's say 4500 and now this looks more good like more accurate let's add one more thing which is called curl noise force and uh, simply select this and change it to let's say 7000 noise to 1 and let's make it to let's say 0.15 and leave it like this now simply go to this drag option and just decrease the value to let's say 10 so now if you notice it start you know attracting in a different way so now let's add this curl noise once again so just take curl noise force and now just change it to negative 100 and make it to 1 and just change it to 0.15 now if you want to make this in a more different way or like a large way simply click this vortex force and just decrease the value to 100 and increase the vortex axis to 500 and now if you notice it's interacting in a different way which looks exactly nice with the same so now press save make sure you need to compile it and then save and press ok 
So now let's add this particle here. So just click here and uh, let's a basic shape. So you can use anything. So let's take uh, shapes to sphere and delete the ground, delete this. And now let's do a camera setup. So simply click here, cinet cinematic, and then cine camera actor, and then right click and object to the view. Go to the cine camera actor. So now I need to adjust the camera view. So just change it to DSLR and change it to let's say 50 mm and just make sure it should a uh, little far from the camera otherwise the particles will not feel that much good all right so we are good to go simply click here to jump back from the camera view so this is the camera this is the particles now let's press g on your keyboard to hide everything now simply drag and drop this to here so once you press f the particles are here so now you need to reposition the particle positions so it's nice and then simply drag and drop under the sphere so now what happened if you move the sphere the particles are also moving this because both are right now in pairing okay so now simply click this camera and pin it here so that you can always see what exactly going on now again just select the camera and little push slide up to frame this in the center now decrease or like turn off the volumetric fogs uh, sorry volumetric cloud and sm sky sphere so we have only this now we need to do some lighting setups and all but before that we need to create two materials so create one so this is orb like for the sphere double click and uh, right click type constant three vector simply take a multiply node and then multiply and press s and click and type strength and change it to two point like three connect this and connect with this emission now let's make a color in a little warmer color press ok simply select this and change the shading mode to clear coat so that it will be some kind of a reflective surface and all all right so press apply and let's close this and right click material instance and now simply select the sphere click here and type instance or and simply select so now if you notice the sphere is getting some colors now let's uh, rotate the sun direction so just decrease the intensity to 0.5 and uh, let's decrease the source angle to 0, 0, 0, 1 and now simply select the exponential height and fog going down just turn on this volumetric fog just turn this on going up fog density to let's say 0.1 decrease the fall off and now simply select the directional light and change the light directions so that it can create some volumetric effect for your scene and now rotate the sun and if you notice you can see some cards out of a volumetric effect for your scene and let's change the directions so that it can create make sure whatever you do just watch on your uh, right side of your screen so that you can understand what is exactly going on so as of now this looks perfect let's increase the intensity to let's say one or oh, no this is too much 0.5 was better because we are doing post-process volume later so we have this particle effect right now so let's add one light which can create a different directional light so simply click here and first of all just save it and I just, oh, I didn't save this. So just press save over here. So now to create a new light here, what do you need to do? Simply click and go to light and need to add a rec light. So this is an amazing light for your scene. So what do you need to do? You need to place this light little lower angle. So just, uh, first of all, just increase the camera speed, rotate the direction to somewhere here. Now increase the shapes to like 5,000. Now if you notice this is the radius so increase the radius so that it's hit with the particles just like this and rotate in this direction and simply just move this by the way just turn on this and move this to here a little different directions perfect so now the particles are getting light from the lower angle now, if you notice, the lights are not that good, the colors and all. So, let's change the color to a little warmer color, a little reddish. Perfect. 
and now it's hitting with the particles which looks absolutely perfect all right so now let's uh, change the directional light a little bit and by the way so let's do the exponential height for some settings so going down you can find this called start distance so if you increase the start distance so what happened the fog start distance will change so if you decrease it will not getting some fog so what i'll do i'll just make it to let's say 400 and the viewing distance is an entire distance ratio so just leave it like this and if you increase the extraction scale the uh, volumetric fog will increase if you decrease it will decrease also if you increase the scattering distribution the volumetric effect will also hit here if you notice from this direction so i don't want to do that so this is enough so now let's add some materials for this particles because this particles is look now it's a little bit choppy so let's add a new particles uh, material so just take a new material and just name it to particles and then just open it right click constant t vectors and need to add two parameters so this one's let's say for roughness and this one's for the metallic so just add to metal and now just connect this to this metallic and connect the roughness to roughness and the base color to base color so just change the color ratio to let's say a little bit warmer metallicness let's say one and the roughness let's two so you have something like this apply and then save it close it to apply this right click material instance double click open it select the mesh render and turn on this enable material overrides and now press this plus button open it and you can find this index and over here you can type instance and you can find the second instance which is the particle instance simply select this and you can see all your particles are added with this materials compile save and close and now if you notice we have this different materials for this the particles looks a little black because we have a material over here and now i need a one harsh light from this direction so what i'll do i'll just add a spotlight or let's say uh okay let's say a rec light as well because this is perfect for this type of shots so just move it here change the directions increase the intensity so 5000 press f on your keyboard to fit with this where it is yeah this is it and now rotate the directions to here position here top and now let's go to cine camera actor so as of now this looks just like this now let's increase the radius and decrease it to 100 slide upwards and this looks nice and let's change the light color to in a different now see in color palette this is the color of yellow so opposite color should be this or a little bluish so that it can create a different color angle all right so now let's change the positions of this slightly in a different direction so that the light go hit here and now let's decrease the intensity to 100 because i want light from only this direction now let's do something unique for that we need to add a post process volume so just go to the visual effects post process volume type infinite bounds and just turn on this bloom effect just once you turn on this you can see some bloom over here now let's do what i told you let's do some unique thing here so take one more light a rec light and uh, after that just place the rec light somewhere in middle of this particles now let's see what exactly happened once you place it over here just here okay cool now watch it from the camera view right now nothing's happening but if you notice this white splash is happening so if you increase the intensity obviously it will create some kind of lighting effect and just change the color to match with the same yellow and let's increase the width and the height and now look at this it's absolutely changed everything simply select the third one and just reposition it properly so that it will create some kind of a lighting effect now once you're happy with this let's uh, do this for the renders 
so just little zoom in it slightly that's perfect so now let's do a level sequence so for that click here add level sequence and we're done and now simply take this camera drag and drop into here and let's render it out so just open it delete this jpeg sequence take this uh, png and uh, anti-aliasing turn this on just make it to 32 turn this on as well and gaming override and after that change your resolutions and path and then press render local so guys that's it for today i hope you really enjoyed this short and simple beginner based video on unreal engine niagara simulations if you like this video hit the subscribe button like comments and share and myself rajat i'll see you in the next video till then keep watching keep rocking world of fx bye bye